remember that we are marching for a just aim here. We're marching for a society where those elderly people, where those young people, and where all those other people who are working to just try and get by can actually say to their children, yes, it will get better. for all, because it's about the old age pension as well.
Posh boys, it's true. Of millionaires, it's true. But it's a government that is burning with the eager desire to take away from working people all those gains that the Tories in the 1980s did not manage to dismantle. We had then the privatisation. <laughs> yes, to be opposed to all the cuts in jobs and services. But the challenge for us as well is to build an alternative, to create a vision, to make the need for a society where we truly stand in favour of the millions and not the millionaires. That means taking the banks into public ownership. That means taking control of these big companies who are refusing to invest their capital. 750 <laughs> billion lying idle in the company's vaults that could be invested in jobs and services. If just 20 local authorities in this country said to the government, we're not making the cuts, we reject your agenda, we're standing with the people who elected us because it's better to break the law than break the poor. Just imagine the enthusiasm for that would share away, that would share the country. Yeah, socialist party. <laughs>